Hi, I'm Pat Gangler from Design Specialties. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to install our aluminum doors into masonry fireplaces. Take the door out of the box very carefully and remove the packaging material. Be careful when you do this because you can easily scratch or mar the door in this step. Take the door and fit it into the opening to make sure it fits. If you've watched our video on how to measure for masonry fireplaces, your door will fit perfectly every time. Our doors come from the factory fully adjusted and fully assembled. There should be little or no adjustment needed when the door arrives on site. However, doors can get jostled in shipping and they can go out of adjustment in the shipping process. The good news is that our doors are easily adjustable in the field. More on that in a few minutes. Before we get into the actual mounting of the door, I think it's worth spending a little bit of time talking about our mounting method. We use a special C-clamp bracket and no hardware in mounting our doors. All of our aluminum doors come with a C-race built into the extrusion. And the C-clamp simply fits into the C-race and with a little backward pressure locks itself in with a very, very firm attachment. The advantage of this system is that if you don't like where the location of that clamp is, or if your brick is not holding your lag screw, it's very simple to take it out and reply it, reapply it in a different place. Now the real key in using these C-clamps effectively is to know how to use them. In the biggest mistake that our installers make is that they will take the clamp and move it back to the side of the fire brick with the door in place, which racks the door out of place and causes adjustments, potential adjustments to be made later. What we recommend instead is to pre-bend the C-clamp into a U-shape with the C open C-clamp facing towards you, pre-bend it, Attach it to the frame, and in that case, when you bring it back to the fire brick, the bracket takes all the torque, and it leaves the door in perfect adjustment. Now, let's determine where we want to place these brackets in the fireplace. Typically, we mount our doors using a side mount application. We find two spots on each side of the fire brick, approximately three to six inches down from the top and up from the bottom, and about two to six inches back from the fireplace face. We drill the four holes using a 5 16 inch masonry drill. We drill about 1 and 3 quarter inch deep. Insert the lead anchors into the hole. Now we attach the mounting strap into the C race so that it aligns with the mounting hole. Using a 7 16 inch wrench, snug up the bracket, but do not tighten at this point. When installing the door, do one side complete by attaching both brackets on that side, then attach the two brackets on the other side. This will also help to prevent the door from racking out of alignment. Most of the time, little or no adjusting will be needed, but let's talk about how you do make adjustments when you have to. One of the adjustments that you may run into is where one part of the door may be sticking out from the rest of the door. In that case, open the door and loosen the attachment bracket. And either pull or push the frame into alignment. A second adjustment that you may run into is where the styles, the piece of aluminum that actually holds the glass into place, do not line up. We get those to align again by loosening the brackets and pulling up or down on one side of the frame or the other to get the door to rack in.
Another adjustment is when the gaps in the door are not uniform. In a case like that, you'll have to loosen the fold back hinge screws with a Phillips screwdriver. And move the door panel to the right or left as needed. Now the door is installed. In this particular application, we had an inside fit where we overlapped the lintel and mortared the door in. We didn't discuss how to mortar a door in in this particular video. If you're interested in that, please look at the video on how to install steel doors in masonry fireplaces. The last thing you want to do is use a product like Design Specialties Glass Cleaner and clean the glass both inside and out. I hope you found this video on installing aluminum doors in fireplaces helpful. If you have any questions about either measuring or installing doors on fireplaces, please feel free to call or email us. Thank you very much for your attention.